Yeah, that's a great point. Um, another thing I want to say before we move on is anyone that's interested, look up um, Chris Timmerman, I think is his name from the Imperial College of London. And he's been doing experiments with like DMT and I think other psychedelics where they've extended the amount of time that we can go into these interdimensional or extra dimensional uh, places and we can extract, they're, they're learning about extracting information and, and, and making it a tangible and practical science. Mm-hmm. So like mm-hmm. if these people are able to have the same vision and they don't know each other and, you know, how, what's the probability of that? You know, that we're all seeing these same entities and having these conversations and seeing these same color patterns and bringing tangible information back to the physical 3D universe as we see it. So the science is being done. And that's kind of like what me and Trent and you and people like us that we're so invested in is saying, okay, now we're in an age where we have technology. Technology is caught up with spirituality uh, to some degree. Let's make it practical. Mm. And you have people like him that have been doing the research for many years. And, you know, I, anybody out there, when you guys are supporting us, these are the type of things we want to do. We get funding. We want to go meet these people. We want to go have the Mm -hmm. experience. We want to collect the data. We want to be involved in the experimentation of consciousness in relationship to this three-dimensional world. This is the, this is a tangible science. So it's not just something we're just fabricating. It's real. Yeah. Yeah, I think they're trying to map out that dimension is what the, what the little bit that I heard about it was that they were trying to map map it out because they are scientists mm. and because there's so many common kind of common experiences amongst people that they're like, okay, well let's let's map this out. Let's take this this chemical, let's see what happens and let's map it out. Mm. And I think that's that's wonderful. I think that bringing that scientific approach to these things is is much needed. I think the idea of the spiritual ego also is that that went through my mind kind of as I was saying it. So I'm really glad that that you brought that up is that, yes, there is going to be that. But we need to cross that bridge. We need to have that discernment. Mm-hmm. But people won't be fooled by these spiritualist egos if they had more information about spiritualism itself. Mm in these different processes. So I think the bar would just get raised and some of these frauds would just be exposed. Mm. Well, that's the process and that's what's happening regardless. Mm -hmm. That's exactly through all of these processes. Whether we realize it or not, there is a uh, archetype that is being played out Mm -hmm. here and, and it has its purpose. Everything is as it's supposed to be. I mean, whether we believe in free will or believe in uh, chaos or randomness and a, and I know you guys have done a uh, show about that, uh, which we have clearly proven that there is no chaos. Mm. There is no random. Yeah. Right. Yep. Yep. We've talked about. Yeah, we talked about and we did the principle of cause and effect. Mm. We didn't get too much into our own beliefs there, but we did talk about how random we did talk about the the idea of randomness. Yeah. 